Hello, it's Tammy Petricelli from Little Newark, Delaware in the U.S. of A. How are you? I hope you've had a wonderful week since I saw you last week. And um, uh, let's see. You know, I wanted to address ethics. Ethics is a big thing in psychic and mediumship. Um, and I have been in areas where um, ethics were not being appreciated, were not being respected. So what do we talk about? What do we, I mean, when we talk about ethics in readings, um, I have people that come for the first time and they're so nervous that um, they're going to hear all this bad stuff. A reader should not be giving you a lot of negativity. It should be about healing, healing you, healing spirit on the other side. If you're dealing with the medium, they should be giving you positive reinforcement. If they see something that isn't going to be positive, then they should very simply, you know, lead you in a positive way to be able to um, either deal with something that's coming up, prevent something that's coming up, but not saying things like, oh, I see a car accident. I actually had heard that happen to a reader behind me during a fundraiser. No, 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 no. Let's talk about, you know, um, care, care in the, uh, you know, what they need to do. And then she said, followed up with something about, um, you know, paperwork. Maybe the paperwork isn't right. Um, you know what? I would just say, make sure everything, is, you're paying attention to everything having to do with your car um, paperwork, you know, insurance and registration and all that. You understand that? And, um, and move on because that's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy simply because people are going to be freaking out every time a car gets near them. Is this car going to hit me? Is this going to be the time when I hit something? Um, so please pay attention uh, to what you are saying. If you are a reader, if you are a sitter, then, um, Please remember ethics, you know, make keeping it positive, keeping it upbeat, helping to steer them in a positive way. They should leave your your table or your home feeling good, feeling healed, feeling like they can take on the world, you know, and that's not to say lie, never lie, never, never, never. I've had people say, oh, this psychic told me this. This psychic told me that. I'm sorry, I'm not that psychic. That's not the information that I'm getting. I can only give you what I'm seeing, hearing, feeling, and thinking. And if it doesn't coincide with what someone else told you, then maybe spirit doesn't feel you need to hear it a second time. All right? Okay. So, Evelina in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, are you with me? Hello. How are you? Am I what? How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine now that you called me. Super excited ah. about this. Okay, awesome, Evelina. Now, I am a psychic medium, which means that I can read your energy and what's going on past, present, future, but also a medium, which means I can connect with those that have crossed over. What is your preference today? Um, I don't know. Just maybe just the future or like... What does it hold up for me? Do you have a question? It's basically, uh, me, more, more likely with health and money. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm listening. I'm trying to tune yeah. in. Um, all right. Yeah, more health and money. I have a daughter and um, make sure she's good. And like, you know, like, if anything I should be watching out for, I don't know. Evelina, I feel like you're feeling a little stagnant right now in, in everything, um, kind of, I feel like you, you have the kind of personality where you're waiting for things 
to happen as opposed to going out there and making them happen. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. I used to be that person that used to go out there and get her and then didn't want, I don't know, and, now, and then I had a brain aneurysm and then it slowed me down. I need you to go back to your roots. I need to my you, roots. your roots. Learn how to manifest. Learn how okay. to make things happen. Okay. Okay. Um, Yes, because you can manifest things, you can make them happen. But I feel like you're kind of in this, well, this happened to me and that happened to me and I can't seem to get this right. It's about, all about focus. So I'd like to see you do a little more meditation, even if you just download some meditation uh, online. If you are on Facebook, okay. Both of my Facebook pages, Tammy Petricelli Medium and Pike Creek Reiki and okay. Healing Marketer, both have videos or they should have videos. Um, now that you know Facebook has turned into Meta, I don't know if every where everything is. But look under videos, yeah. videos of different meditations. Fine. If it's not mine, that's fine. Find what works for you. Because I feel like, okay. like we need to get you refocused on self and what you want and what you need. Um, you kind of tend to, to have moved away from that because putting the focus on what other people need. Is there a recent um, uh, relationship breakup for you? No, 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 not really. No, there was no breakup. So I don't know who you're talking about really. He even with a friend, I'm feeling well, like yeah, there was, yeah, one girlfriend, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling a separation between you and a relationship, and it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, romantic relationship. I'm feeling the separation of a relationship, and I and um, I would not, if I were you, I would not put too much uh energy or emphasis into worrying about that because I feel like you may need that break. This, I feel like this person may have, may have not been the person or saying the things that you needed to hear at the time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes, I understand that. Yes, the support yeah. that you need was not there. You need to surround yourself with more supportive people and if that means there's only one or two that's okay it's better to have yeah. few supportive friend, friends and family around you than to have more friends and family who are constantly critical and i feel yeah, like that's so true you understand too many people have yeah been i understand that. yeah yes yeah. so let's go back to self and when I say self, it's not about being selfish. It's about self-care. What does Evelina need? What will make Evelina happy, successful, all of that? So taking a step back, literally from yourself, getting out of your own way, getting some meditation, which helps you center and balance yourself, and then put forward, now that I feel better, now that I can think straight, what is it that I really need? A lot of times, see, people will say financial. They think that they just need money. Not necessarily. You need... Yeah, I know, no, no, I know, no, yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that, that was what I needed to hear, actually. Probably it is. Yes, yeah, so there's actually... I can a... just watch, yeah. Yeah, there's actually a Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time and for this reading. Yes, you're so welcome. So find time for self, manifest. How do we manifest? We simply put it out into the universe about what we need in our lives. So a story that I love to, to share um, that I, I did read, and I hope it's true, um, actually where a young girl in college needed a vehicle 
and she went to a car dealer and she got turned down for the loan and she's in the the parking lot crying a man comes in who was going to trade in an older car and he was buying a new car he asked the salesman what was the problem what what's wrong with this poor girl he tells her the story the man takes his keys takes his title walks over to the young woman hands her the keys and the title he says you need this more than i need to trade it in crazy stories like this i can tell you on and on and on. i can write like soup and sour uh, those soup and uh, books i can write one of those i i know i know what you mean yes good so i want you to sit back and that's what i'm saying manifest she needed to manifest a car not necessarily the loan or the money you know so it's the same thing what do i need i need to be uh financially secure you know sometimes you put that out there and you you know you need a certain bill paid and oh my gosh a check comes in the mail you didn't even know you were getting that refund put it out there you know yeah. um, and and pay more attention to balancing yourself i really feel it's time so whether you're doing qigong or reiki or uh massages or just soaking in a salt bath throw some sea salt or some himalayan salt in a nice warm tub couple drops of lavender oil go soak and just okay i will thank you okay. okay thank you so much for your time you are so welcome in health i don't feel anything serious but i do okay. feel that you're not taking eating well so pay attention to what you're eating okay all right thank you evelina i wish you well i thank you so much bye 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 thank you guys so much I always appreciate when you spend this 15 minutes with me and um I wish you a wonderful week because tomorrow Mars will be out of retrograde and communication with others should return to some normalcy until the end of the month when when Mercury goes back into retrograde. So enjoy this one month of communication peace we hope and i wish everyone uh celebrating thanksgiving to have a wonderful thanksgiving next week i will be here i'll be here next week that's right right here same place same station a1r psychic radio moonstruck.tv you can catch me at www.tamipetrocelli.com or www.pikecreekreiki.com Both of those are on Facebook. Love you guys. Have a wonderful week. And if you want to know more about me, don't forget you can pick up my book on Amazon uh, or BarnesandNoble.com. Have a great week. Thank you so much. Mwah.